first Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and I had given him thanks, broke it, and said, This is my body that is to you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice had the supper, saying, This chalice is to be covered in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Nice to see you all this morning. Today's Mass has been offered for Kathy Schilante. So as we come to pray, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am very Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Kathy Schilante. O oh God, strengthen those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing. Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Adam and Eve now the serpent was the most cunning of all animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat of it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like gods, who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes, and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then their eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God moving about in the garden at the breezy time of the day, the man and his wife hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Resounds Gloriful Psalm is number 32. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord inputs not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Then I acknowledge my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you look away the guilt of my sin. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. For this shall every faithful man pray to you in times of stress. Though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. You are my shelter. From distress you will preserve me with glad cries of freedom. You will ring me around. Blessed are those who sins are forgiven. Sing. Hallelujah. Open our hearts, O oh Lord. 
to listen to the words of your son. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. A reading, or sorry, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd and he put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said, Ephrathah, that is, be open. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I read the first reading about snakes, I just don't like snakes. I grew up in Ireland where there was no snakes. And I remember my first day in, in, in Wiggins as pastor, I was backing out the driveway and I was just, I noticed up on the side of the, the, the house was this big monster snake. I didn't have a clue what kind of a snake it was. So I had to go down to uh, down the street to a guy I knew from years back and, and he came and he got his shovel and he said, this is a great snake to have around your house. It's a garden snake, you leave it. And a few weeks later, I was out at the back of the church, and wasn't there a pit of snakes? Lucky enough, again, it was the good snakes, but uh, I, I'm just not comfortable around snakes. <laughs> and I live on the golf course in Diamond Head, as you know, and the Velkuses that gave the house to the church, they had a netting uh, all around the back of the house to save the windows from the golf balls. Well, one of the great things about that netting it has trapped three snakes in the last two years. And, and, and these are not garden snakes. These are diamondback ones. So I'm learning a little bit. But, 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 uh, but uh, you know, it's amazing all the times I've been out there with my bike and I've never seen a snake, but they're around. So, so I, I get spooked by snakes very easily. I'm not comfortable with snakes. So I'm glad they're used in the Bible, but not in a good way, but in a bad way. So no woman, the poor woman, was tricked by the snake, okay? But anyway, I think there's a lot of, a lot, a lot has been written about Adam and Eve. For us, I think what's important about Adam and Eve is, is typology. The Old Testament has types, typology. And Adam and Eve are types for Jesus and Mary. And evil is part of the world. I mean, it's no different now than it was several thousand years ago. There always has been sin and evil in the world. And of course, we blame Adam and Eve. But the solution for Adam and Eve and for sin is Jesus and Mary. When you think about it, look at all the people who come to church on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. The likelihood of any of them committing a major, major sin and be on the TV news is very, very slight. Because they, 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 they pray and they discern before they do bad things. Now, don't get on your high horse and think you can't do it. Because the worst thing, the worst sin that can be committed any one of us is capable of doing it. And the line between good and evil goes through every human heart. So any one of us is capable of great evil, any one is capable of great good. But if we, if, we, if, we, if we call on the example of Jesus and Mary and do what Jesus and Mary would want us to do, then we're on the right track. So it's so important that we have that typology and we have the guide. You can do it Adam and Eve's way, which is disobedience, Doing it my way, or, or Jesus and Mary, you do it God's way. So before you do anything, ask, what does God want you to do? And then you're on the right path. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray for Kathy Scalanti, for whom the Mass has been offered. That's Michelle Fleming's mom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the recently deceased. Mary Jane Shelby, she was in the nursing home in Diamond Head for quite some time. That's Sister Flo's sister and her funeral is today. 
Then Lillian Bing Gashe, her funeral is Friday night. Otis Gilmer, his funeral is here on Saturday at 11. Then Charlotte Eubanks, her funeral will be across the street on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. And John Leonard died last night, but we're not sure of any funeral arrangements yet. So John was a great KC man for years, and uh, we, we pray for John and his family. So we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. And we have so many sick people. Uh, Joel Lakota was at the emergency room yesterday for a long time. I'm not sure where he ended up, so we pray for Joe and Judy, and we pray that the doctors will be able to help them to continue living. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. We pray for all the elderly and the sick of our parish, and we pray for Eben Gay Quavers and Shirley Sewell, especially today. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. We pray for the continued progress with our building, and we pray for the safety of all the workers. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. We pray that we can make good choices and do God's will like Jesus and Mary, and not give way to sin like Adam and Eve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for the safety of all people traveling. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. So many people have given up on God. So we pray that this time of pandemic, people will draw closer to God and have the love of Jesus in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We thank God for this day and all its opportunities. We ask God to answer all our prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. And you will accept the sacrifice of your names, but the glory of your name. O oh God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father of mercies and faithful God, for you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he has announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we extol and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And a quote from St. Peter Julian on the Eucharist, he said, the Eucharist is the perfect expression of the love of Jesus Christ for humans, since it is the quintessence of all the mysteries of his life. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when his once for his disciples are now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, 
broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our, <coughs> whom you led through the, his passion and death on the cross to the glory of his resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the pastoral sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people of made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to come for those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By divine teaching, we dare to pray. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace in unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Mindful of the coronavirus, let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my grave, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for our aid. Good morning. Good morning. Don't you like today's reading? <laughs> we really. The serpent made me do it. <laughs> Come on, you got someone to blame for everything you do. <laughs> it worked for Eve. <laughs> we got a better, better excuse than that. Oh, we don't have any excuses. I'm, I'm sorry, Lord. We don't have an excuse. We're human. We got the uh, Irish guy. I mean, Go to confession. He can't count over seven, except when it comes to money. But <laughs> <laughs> Jesus said, you forgive sins until 70 times, seven times. He can't count that high. So he just keeps forgiving. He was told to do that. And he doesn't question it. <clears throat> I, I, I play poker on Thursday. I look forward to Thursdays. It, it's a lot of fun. We got we have a good good group, and a couple of the guys in the group used to be Catholic. And this priest told me, "Look, you don't like Father Patty. You don't like Most Holy Trinity. Go to Annunciation. There's another uh, church. I don't know the name of it. Out on on." Uh, the Jeff. next road over. Yeah. Go there. You don't like Father Patty? Go someplace else. Don't punish or don't punish yourself by getting the, the reds at God. Because look what he did for us. Another thing. We've got several people that I know of who have died in the last week. Otis Gilmore. Otis Gilmore holds the record at Tulane University. He gained something like 360 yards in one football game. I think that record still stands. I'm not sure. But Otis was a good guy. I played golf with him. He, I, I like him. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Anybody in this room don't want to go to heaven? You can't get there unless you die. Nobody wants to die. I don't want to die. I want to go to heaven. <laughs> oh, blame it on the snake. Where, where's the... I'm looking now. Blessed are those whose fault is taken away where sin is covered. You remember several months ago, the, the reading said, I will remove from you your transgressions as far as the east is from the west. And I said, the sun rises in the east and it's 93,200,000 miles away. And it sets in the west and it's still 93,200,000 miles away. You add those two together and the diameter of the earth is 7,200 7, miles. So that, that's like 186 million miles. And there's a lot of space out there beyond the sun. And that's how far God's going to move our transgression, our sins. I sin, and I get forgiven for it. If I ask for it, can't blame it on the snake. Because I'm like Father, I don't like snakes. I'm scared to death of them. My wife, I love her. 
Um, she can't stay in the room if the snake comes on TV. Uh, that's weird, you hear? She will get up from the couch and leave the room if there's a snake that crawls across the screen. So we can't blame it on the snake. We can blame it on the devil. God gave me and you a free will. Do whatever you want. That's what a free will is. Do it what you want. And then after you've done something wrong, be sorry for it. To, to, to really be forgiven for sin, and we all sin, okay? So, so uh, I don't think there's any saints. Now, you, I hopefully we'll all be saints one day. But we, we're all, all of us are sinners. Father says this is a church of sinners, for sinners, run by sinners. Okay. But you got to have a firm purpose of amendment. That, that means I don't want to do this again. So God, forgive me for what I've done. And help me. Because tomorrow's another day. And that temptation, that whatever it was that you did, I mean, it could be, I like to play poker on, on Thursday, but some people like to go to the casino every day and, and their kids are going hungry because they're going to make a million dollars. They don't build $600 million casinos because people win money. Okay? Anyway, they can't go to the casino tomorrow. I love a drink of scotch. I love a drink of scotch, a drink. I can't drink two because I, I'm a sissy when it comes to drinking. I get pie-eyed and, and say stupid things. And, <laughs> but I like a drink, and I drink a drink. Maybe twice a month. There's people that can't take a drink. I have two sons that can't take a drink. One of them has been 32 years since he had a drink. And I'm very proud of that. We all sinners and we all can go and be forgiven. And there are, there's no lock on that confessional back there. Father sits in there, I think every Saturday, waiting for me, waiting for you, waiting to say, your sins are forgiven, go and sin no more. Amen. Amen. Thank you, R.A. Got a cute little email here. Little Tommy was having a good time at his sister's wedding. I want to have a wedding just like Linda had, he told his father. Oh, said his father. And who will you marry? I want to marry Grandma, was Tommy's reply. You can't marry Grandma, his father said. She is my mother. Well, reasoned Tommy. You married my mother, didn't you? <laughs> the Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Go and make disciples. Thanks, God. Let us pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit.